Hey everyone, it's Mike Andes at LandscapeBusinessCourse.com and today I'm going to be sharing some numbers that are actually a little bit alarming to me about small businesses and landscapers and just how much money they're making. Uh, I'm looking at a lot of data right now because I'm getting ready for Landscape Summit 2022, just about six weeks away. Check out the link in the description if you would like to sign up for that, LandscapeBusinessCourse.com slash conference. And I'm getting ready already uh, for getting my notes together and I do a lot of research in terms of data just to see where small businesses are in general and one of the articles I came across that was really interesting is looking at the how much, just how much money small business owners are making. Uh, and what are, is their actual net out pay from their ventures. So uh, this is a couple years old, but probably not too far off from the SBA. So the SBA all came, came out and said, hey, the average and the median, which I'm gonna explain the difference to in just a second, uh, the average and median amount that self-employed people make, uh, the median is $49,804, and the average, is $73,000. So, so well, what's the difference here? Well, the median is the middle, okay? So it's like the very middle, whereas the average takes all of the response and divides it by the number. So what that means is, if I got, like let's say this is $0, and $0 here, and over here is like $1 million, for example, okay? And you got all these people responding, and you got all these different things, like, okay, and then over here is like, a whole bunch of people around here, like this, right? So the average is probably going to be, let's just move this, take this way. The average is probably gonna be somewhere in the middle, of like, like right here, the average, right? Because all of these skew, all these big numbers skew the direction this way. And unfortunately, this is the part that everyone aspires to be, but the bulk of people are down here. So the median is the middle, so you take how many respondents and then divide it by, divide it by two, like right in the middle. This would be the median right? Because that is like the 50th percentile. So the 50th percentile is the median. How I look at it is like the median in a road is the middle of the road between two different lanes. So therefore it's like the center, all right? So median over here be $49,000 and the average $73,000. This is alarming to me for a few different reasons, okay? The first, of, the first is expectations when someone comes into business ownership. They're expecting like immediately that they're gonna make two, three, four hundred thousand dollars when they have to realize that probably like a couple percent, I don't know the exact numbers on this, sorry, but I'd say a couple percent are in that two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars of annual revenue as an entrepreneur self-employed, okay? Now this number for this median actually goes down to 22,000 for unincorporated, so people that are just doing uh, things full-time, but self-employed, from home, not incorporated, these are incorporated businesses. So this isn't even just like chucking a truck. This is incorporated businesses that have a median of $49,000 take home pay for the owner and an average of 73. This average is massively skewed, but the fact that there are, there's a 0.1% of people that make you know, millions and millions and millions of dollars it skews the average. But the middle, like the 50th percentile, meaning if I make more than $50,000, I'm above average as a small business owner. And yet, in so many people's mind, if you don't make like a couple hundred thousand dollars, you're like a failure. When you're literally shooting for like the top 2% of self-employed individuals. Whereas if I look at okay, well, I just wanted to make a living and I want to provide for my family. You still have to be above average, above the median, 50 percentile, you still have to be above that just to make, make ends meet. So you're gonna have to be like in the 60th, 65, 70th percentile just to make a decent living for your family. So I think the first thing that re this really worries me is expectations. People get into entrepreneurship, they just like, like within two or three years, I'm gonna be making hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit. Not happening for m the majority, if not like the vast majority of entrepreneurs, especially in lawn care landscaping, where you require to buy trucks, buy, get equipment, uh, get employees, all the rest of it. But the expectations is extremely damaging, it's going to lead to a lot of burnout and a lot of depression when somebody realizes that making 80 grand is actually pretty good and it's gonna, that even that's gonna take a couple years. It's gonna take a couple years of losing money and making less than you would if you would have kept your nine to five just to get to you know, 70, $80,000 in profit a year. 
talking about averages here. I believe that these numbers actually look worse for the lawn care and landscaping community. I really believe that, and based upon what I've, I've seen, as well as the fact that the vast majority of owners make less than $50,000, I think that this median is probably more around the realm of thirty-five dollars to $40,000, and the average maybe fifty-five or so thousand dollars in terms of what an, a landscaper, a landscape business owner, a landscape self-employed person is going to make. It's concerning to me. Number one, like I said, is expectations and people quitting their job and expecting they're going to make way more money, like in a year or two. I'm just so shocked by how people think that in two or three years, they're just going to make bunches of money. Like, it's not like that. Business ownership is three to five years of sacrifice, and usually five years five through seven and up to 10 is like where you really start to grow and expand. Like, I've been doing Augusta Lawn Care for eight years. The past two years we've done franchising. 98% of you have only heard about me in the past 24 months, but there's been a lot of grind before that. Now those first five, six years of struggling and figuring things out, and like you're trying to make payroll and you're trying to figure out systems, that's not what, what's seen. And so the expectation that I'm just gonna become an entrepreneur, go self-employed, start my lawn care business, and make hundreds of thousands of dollars in profit is extremely damaging because very few people will do that. Second thing that this makes me concerned is that half of owners, median again, $49,000, the center, 50th percentile, everyone below that, half of the owners, self-employed people in the United States, could make more money if they went and just got a job. If they went out and just became a general manager, if they went out and just became a, a, a W-2 employee, they'd make more money. And that's disturbing because that bottom 50th percentile takes away from the other 50th percentile that's actually succeeding and they have to compete with these people. And in reality, these people are literally putting themselves through hell for something that they could actually make more money going and becoming an employee. Now, I know there are intangible benefits of becoming self-employed and I'm, I'm, not, I'm just dwelling on the number side. So I understand there's benefits of, of, of governing your time and autonomy and things like that and purpose that are not tied to money. But I also see so many small business owners in massive amounts of upheaval because of these numbers. They're not making enough money uh, because either, like I said, number one, they expected too much, or number two, they could be making more money as an employee and yet they're working 60 hours a week and you know working the evenings uh, and making $49,000 Again, 50th percentile, which is very alarming to me, the fact that like, the 30th percentile person is making like 20,000. Like, they're not even making minimum wage, let alone the amount of hours that they're working on their business. That's why I think so many times people should be an employee and just focus on growing inside of a company. It's a great place to be. You have a dependable paycheck, you can learn so much, and maybe when you're 40 or 50 and you have like 20 years of management experience, then you go start a business and it takes off and you become more over here because you have massive levels of experience and you get to learn all of those mistakes on someone else's dime and be paid a good paycheck that's above the median, the 50th percentile of entrepreneurs. You literally have to be above average as a self-employed person to make above 50 grand, okay, per year. Number three, the third thing that kind of alert, uh, alar is alarming to me is that fact that this much profit is not enough to scale the business or get out of day-to-day -day operations. The reason I know that is because if you're making $49,000, $50,000 in profits, take home pay, you do not have enough money to go pay a manager, which is gonna, co is gonna cost you 50 grand, to come run the business for you. You're going to be in the business every single day, all the time. It's going to lead to burnout. It's going to lead to eventually you getting sick. It's going to lead to one day you having a family emergency and not being able to be at the business. It's not sustainable. And eventually that's why landscapers and lawn care guys eventually just close down shop. They don't even try to sell their business. They just close down because they're burnt out. The, fa the, the, the body wears out. The family can't put up with them no longer being there. Their relationships get strained because there's no money and they're working crazy hours and eventually it's like, hey, I'm just gonna give up. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna throw in the towel and it leads to burnout because you can never afford to go pay someone else, another team member, give them a great job and allow them, allow them to manage the day-to-day -day operations to where you can actually scale the business and think about working on the business and hiring more people and creating more jobs for your community. You never have that opportunity simply because you never make enough money to afford it. 
So these are some of the things I'm looking at that I'm somewhat alarmed by and knowing that in the lawn care landscaping community, these numbers are probably lower and that so many people are getting in the lawn care landscaping right now because they the job market the way it is because of the pandemic and all the rest of it and they have grand illusions when they look at someone like myself that they discount the past eight years of grind and think that they're just going to become over here somewhere on this you know the top two one two percent when the vast majority of self-employed people will make more money if they just went on god nine to five job so i don't mean to be a debbie downer this should be very encouraging to you if you believe that you have what it takes to be in the top 10, 15, 20% of entrepreneurs and self-employed people. You can do that, you can learn, you can grow. I think a lot of people would be better off becoming a manager and learning those skills and then becoming an entrepreneur down the road, starting their own business when in their 40s or 50s. And it's okay, that, that's fantastic. But you can get around all of this action by trying to figure things out and spin your wheels and somehow we've demonized like being an employee and I think it's wrong and I think that uh, some of those things I talk about conference is gonna be somewhat dictated by this. Um, it's somewhat alarming, very alarming to me, not just for self-employed people but for the lawn care and landscaping community. Uh, this will lock you up. This will lock you up, this will paralyze you from doing things in your business that you know you need to do that make all the sense in the world, but because of this, the scarcity of money will keep you from making the implement, implementing the changes you need to see in your business. So, hope that was helpful, and we'll see you tomorrow.